Hey, hi everyone. In this particular lecture, we are going to learn about that how to handle form data in Node.js HTTP module. So let's start the lecture, right? So in this particular lecture, basically we are not going to use any uh, express or any extra library. We are just going to apply the pure Node.js, right? So you are going to learn a lot by doing this particular lecture about the Node.js. Right, so let's start. So at first, what I have done is basically I have already created a form.html, basically the HTML page, like this. As you can see, here's nothing uh, much more. Like I'm on the starting, I'm have giving a heading which is submit your detail, and then there is a form basically, and the action is submit, and the method that I put is the post. Right, this is important. Put the method as post. After that, I given the name, and afterwards there is an input field for the text and name's name right and then there's an email and the input type is email like this after that we are having a button whose type is submit that's it this is all about the html page now let's come to the main part which is our node.js right uh javascript part so here uh, what i'm doing i'm first importing the http module then i'm creating a server with it and after that i'm have i'm starting my server to listen to the port number 3000 and there's a callback function after the starting of the server right right okay now let's come forward and start the work so here we, are, here we need two more uh, modules that is first is file system so we'll write const fs equals to require put the bracket here inside us i'll write fs right after that we need one more module which is query string right query string helps to parse the form data right so it is an important module let's import it so const query string equals to require put the bracket inside it i like query string like this got it now this is the two main module which we had imported now now let's come to the server portion here now we are going to write all our logic so here you can see i'm having two different parameter which is request and the response let's start with that first i'll give a condition that is if if the request dot method equal equals to get and basically put double and and say that if the request dot url is equal equals to basically slash which is basically home page right so if we are on the home page i want to show this particular html page there right so it is a basic html page so there will be not very good ui wagera right so let's just uh, do fs dot read file put the bracket here inside of this i'll write form dot html right this is the basic the address or the path of that particular file since it is in the same documentary sorry uh, directory that's why we had written just the name and yeah afterwards just put the comma here and give a callback function instead of this will parameters that is error and data right and let's deal with the error first so i'm saying that if there is an error or 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 you can ignore the error right uh, we are not going to get any error uh, you can deal with it when you want to code at your own right so let's let me just write the code for the success case so i'm going to write response dot right head i put the bracket here inside this we will do what we will write the status code as 200 which is a success right and we will define the content type so let's give the content type content type as text slash html like this and afterwards uh, did we do anything wrong here okay this 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 is something wrong because we need to give the arrow function right yeah so after that response dot end put the bracket here inside the bracket i'll say the data right so basically what is happening here here uh, we are reading the file which is form.html and whatever the data that is present inside this particular file right that comes inside this uh, data parameter and then we had actually uh, given the response of that particular data right so it will go to the browser and we will see that html form here right so this is about our home page now let's deal with the method that is post right so whenever you will see basically you will see the form there will be a submit button right so whatever information that you will write i want that when i click on the submit button i will get redirected to this slash submit 
right and the method post means that all the information that is present inside the field get posted right so uh, yeah let's deal with it so i'll write else if else if put the bracket here inside this i'll say that the, if the request dot method if the request dot method is triple equals to uh, post right and and request dot url triple equals to basically uh, submit right slash submit so afterwards afterwards what we will do uh, basically we have to write some of the logic here that is first uh, what is happening that it is taking all the data that you have entered on the uh, basically on the front end right so that's what we are going to deal with. basically i'll write let body because because we want to store the information right so we need a variable where we will store it right so first of all uh, what we will do that basically uh, when the browser sends the data right from the browser it sends the data in the form of chunks so chunk is a small data right so in the form of chunks so basically we need to collect the form data right we need to collect all the chunks one by one so for that purpose we do what request dot on it is very important that you put dot on and then inside this we will write data and then put the comma here and we can write any of the variable that you want but i am writing chunk here right and inside of it we will write that the body means body is what body is basically this variable this particular variable so body plus equals to i want to add all the chunks inside of it so i write all the chunk here and chunk should be uh, added to the body in the form of a string after converting into a string but in whatever form it is it get converted into the string so i'll write to string is string like this put the bracket here right like this i hope you understood the concept till now right uh, you can first of all make a look at everything did you get it right there's nothing much uh, difficult we made a method for the condition of post method we actually taken a variable we put the variable as the blank string right then we put the request dot on to collect all the chunk of data that is coming from the browser and we are actually adding all the data into this particular body variable which is this right after converting those chunks into the string right so this is all about this particular method and then uh, basically we need to add a few more things that is uh, when all the data will get received right in that particular case what will happen request dot on put the bracket here inside of it since it is going to end right so we will write dot end and then put a callback function here like this and after that we will write const for data equals to now listen very important that we will write you will use this particular query string now right so we'll write query string query string put the bracket here sorry dot parse here with the help of this query string what we do that we convert the raw data right we convert the raw data in the form of the javascript objects right since what is happening here whatever we are collecting is basically in the form of a string right but what would we do with the form with the help of a string no we can't do anything we need the things in the form of key and the value and that could only possible with the help of the objects right after storing it in the form the of, of object so that's why we are using this query string so we write query string dot parse and then put the bracket here and they, then we will write body like this and afterwards basically this will do what it will convert the raw data into the object right so i hope you understood the concept till now now after that just simply say that request sorry response dot uh, right head right head put the bracket here inside of it we will write the success code that is 200 and put the comma define the content type content type and the content type should be text slash html like this html or okay let's give the html at least right so response dot uh in the end basically response dot end i want to say that uh h1 let's give the html right h2 and inside of it that is form submit tag right so if you see in the top that what we have done basically we have this uh, uh, code for the home page where we are actually accessing this uh, html form right and then in the second 
we are having the post method that is for the particular URL slash submit. So when you click on that particular button, you get redirected to the submit and, and the submit is for, is for post method. So what will happen that whatever the data that you have filled inside this particular form, right, will get submitted and it gets stored inside this body variable. How it is getting stored inside this body variable? Basically, uh, whatever the data is coming from the browser that comes in the form of chunk. So what we are doing that we put the request dot on that when uh, that uh, uh, for the time when the data is keep like coming, right? So you do what? You just keep adding all those chunks into the body after converting into the string. Now, after when all the data will get stored inside this particular body, then you do what? Then you basically, uh, basically you make a form data another variable and there from the body variable that in which the whole information is being filled, right? You do what? You just parse it. You just pass it into the object. After passing, I am saying that uh, you uh, just uh, now to give the response, basically the success status code, and then we will give the response as this form is submitted, right? So this is the complete about the information about it. And in the end, basically we will write else. Else is what else in the else we can write just response dot end. And I'll say that something wrong happened like this. Got it? Now, uh, I also want to see the whatever the data that is uh, came from the browser. So in my terminal, so I'll write console dot log, put the bracket here, and I will print this form data. So I'll write form data like this. Got it? Let's just save it. And after saving, let's go to the terminal. And let's clear it out after clearing now let's start the server that is node script dot js press enter so yeah you can see that our server is running on the localhost 3000 let's open it and you can see at first what is happening for the home page it is showing me the HTML form right so this is the form basically so submit your details so I'll write something like my name Piyush Gupta and then the email let's write it like this use at the rate gmail.com and then we will click on this submit button what this submit button is doing it is uh, doing the uh, it is redirecting us to the slash submit play page and the method will become the post so let's click on it and you can see we are redirected to the slash submit and there the form gets submitted after submitting form you can see I'm getting the whatever the information that we filled here there right the name is Piyush Gupta and the email is Piyush at the red gmail.com and here you are getting the keys also that is name and email right so this is how we actually uh, deal with the form data using the HTTP module and this will I hope that this particular uh, lecture and the project gave you a ultimate understanding about working with the Node.js and the HTTP module right so this is all about today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will meet in the next video very soon. Till then, goodbye.